Many are those who long for making Hajj and Umrah and they don't have the means for travel. But by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's far reaching mercy, He has legislated for these people easy deeds, which are equal in reward to making Hajj and Umrah. So whoever prays Fajr in congregation and remains seated while making the dhikr until the sun rises, 15 minutes after sunrise, and then pray two rak'at, the duha prayer, for him is the reward of Hajj and Umrah guaranteed. The Prophet ﷺ emphasized it three times. Whoever purifies himself by making ghusl and then he goes to Masjid Quba and prayed in it a prayer, he is rewarded with the reward of Umrah. And performing Umrah in Ramadan is equivalent to making Hajj with the Prophet ﷺ. And whoever leaves his house purified going to the prescribed Salah, then his reward is like that of the one who makes Hajj upon Ihram. And whoever goes to the Doha prayer not intending other than it, then his reward is like the reward of the one who makes Umrah. And the one who helps to prepare someone doing Hajj or taking care of his family, then his reward is the same without any decrease. And from the actions that are equivalent to Hajj and Umrah, almost no one is incapable of Tasbih saying SubhanAllah, Tahmeed saying Alhamdulillah, and Takbir saying Allahu Akbar after every Salah 33 times. Upon the authority of Abu Hurairah, may Allah be pleased with him, some poor people came to the Prophet wasallam and said, the wealthy people will get higher grades and will have permanent enjoyment and they pray like us and fast as we do. They have more money by which they perform the Hajj and Umrah, fight and, str and struggle in Allah's cause and give in charity. The Prophet said, Shall I not tell you a thing upon which if you acted you would catch up with those who have surpassed you? No one would overtake you and you would be better than the people amongst whom you live except those who would do the same. Say, SubhanAllah, Alhamdulillah, and Allahu Akbar, 33 times after every compulsory prayer. We differed and some of us said that we should say SubhanAllah 33 times, and Alhamdulillah 33 times, and Allahu Akbar 34 times. I went to the Prophet wasallam who said, Say SubhanAllah and Alhamdulillah and Allahu Akbar altogether 33 times. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the meaning of the ayah that is the bounty of Allah which he gives to whom he wills and Allah is the possessor of great bounty.